Charles Darwin, Charles Dickens, Isambard Kingdom Brunel, they all had one. That's right, when you hear the word genius, the word beard is really far behind. If you're into beards, then there's a positive pognacopia at the aptly titled Beard Exhibition in Margate. So, why did you set up a show about beards? I wanted to do a beard show because I think that it's important to glorify the beard. It's something that most men should have, um, and it makes a man look more trustworthy, like Santa and God. They, you know, you're supposed to trust them. So, um, I, wanted, and I also wanted it to be a bit of fun, I wanted it to be an art event which wasn't so elitist that it was something that anyone could join in and felt comfortable being around because it's just a little bit of silliness. And why as a woman would you set up a show about the beard? To glorify the beard, because I think they're attractive. So I want men to know that women actually do find beards attractive. All these statistics that say they don't is absolute nonsense. I want people to feel comfortable with their own facial hair. And who would you say is really pushing the beard out there? Who, who's publicising the beard? Who are the poster boys for the beard? Um, well, of course you've got your re religious references that are always relevant. Jesus, God. Santa, and then you've got your um, Chris Christopherson, perfect example of a fabulous musician and also his part in Blade, very good, very handsome beard. Um, well, anyone, any man with a beard instantly looks better. So what sort of an experience can people expect at a beard show? Well, obviously you're going to get an experience of seeing contemporary art, um, and a variety of different types. We've got light installations, sculpture, paintings, wear pieces. Um, and it's something that's a bit fun. So you don't have to be an art lover to come and you can just come and have a little read and a look and just enjoy it. Um, but at the same time, there are some quality artists who are showing their work in this show from all over England. So you've got the best of both worlds, really. And someone great to talk to when you arrive. <laughs> And for those who are beginners in the world of beards, here's five beard facts. In at number five, a beard will grow an average 5.5 inches a year. Fact. In at number four, the number of whiskers on the average man is 30,000. Pogner fact. Number three, the average man will spend 3,350 hours shaving. Whisker fact. At number two, if a man never shaved his beard, it would grow to an average of 27.5 feet. Tickly fact. And at number one, the longest beard recorded was in 1927 and belonged to Hans Landseth of Norway. On his death, it made 17.6 feet and is now stored at the Smithsonian Institute in Washington, D.C. Beard fact. One of those exhibiting at the beard show is his huge artist, Jim Lockie. He reckons having a beard can help the artistic process. The classic uh, beard stroking manoeuvre is very useful and also, um, you know, if I've been painting and I've got uh, paint and bits of stuff on my fingers, it's quite good just to clean up. So are you part of the movement that is in favour of beards for all? Yes, definitely. Um, I mean, I'm a man, so I wouldn't say I was a, a feminist, as that would be damaging to feminism, but I do think that all women should have beards as, as well as men. It's just a point of equality. Now, obviously, uh, this is uh, an exhibition that is all about the love of the beard, it's about celebrating the beard, yeah. beards are beautiful, etc. Have you ever come across the, the ugly spectre of poplophobia? People do run away, and I just have to assume it's because of the beard. I mean, maybe it's the smell, but I'm not sure. And for those of you that are still unconvinced as to the wonder of facial hair, the final word on beards goes to the bard. He that hath a beard is more than a youth, and he that hath no beard is less than a man.